never leave us nor forsake us. I was taught coming up that you never say never. Now that I'm grown, there's a never I can declare. David said in Psalm 37, 25, I once was young, now am old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg bread. Amen. Give God another hand. He's so worthy. <clears throat> I, I told y'all, hang in there. The Lord makes the world go round. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now winter is turning to spring, getting warmer outside. We had the time change, and we lost an hour. I guess you fall back and spring forward, and we lost an hour. And uh, but we're here, uh, barely here. Amen. We had to remember that we had to get here and get started. We're here and started on time, and we thank God for it all. Amen. I want to make mention that on next Saturday, beginning at 11 o'clock, we are the host, well, we're the host church, but eventually with a host parking lot, Macedonia Baptist Church will host the, the pop up pantry of, through the Akron Bible Church 100 Baskets of Love. We'll be here beginning at 11, and we will pass them out uh, for as long as they last. When 100 is gone, we're finished. We're going to start about 11 o'clock, and I, I hope to have our sound outside in the parking lot, a little singing, a little preaching, a lot of witnessing, because we feed them with a basket. We feed them once. We feed them with the gospel. We feed them for a lifetime. So we... We want to uh, encourage you. You can come over and get one. You know, anyone in need, you can come over and get. They are asking that you would have some ID, and we'll be more than willing to give you that basket uh, as soon as you get through. It's a drive-through. We don't, uh, we'll have them out on the tables, and if you know anybody in need, please. Next Saturday morning, Lord willing, at about 11 o'clock, we'll be situated in the parking lot and we'll give those baskets up. We call it the pop-up pantry. But along with that food, we're going to feed you again with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Give God another hand. It's so worthy to be praised. Amen. It's prayer time. And it's certainly time to call up heaven. Uh, Hebrews or Luke would let us know that uh, Man ought always pray and not faint. And we need to be so mindful to stay in contact with the Lord because he's been so good, has navigated us through this pandemic. And we're grateful for that. I'm going to ask our own Reverend Ron to come and lead us to the throne of grace, Reverend. But if I had Take 
control of our minds, our mouths, and our bodies. And use us, Lord, for the building of your kingdom. We ask you, Lord, to continue to be a hedge of protection around us. Lord, you kept us through the whole pandemic. You're keeping us. And Lord, we're so happy that we can be witnesses to tell of your grace and your mercy, of your steadfast love. Lord, you are so good to us. And Lord, we have to say thank you. Lord, we, we want to thank you, Lord, and ask you to continue to bless our pastor, Lord. Good soil, Lord. Our pastor is good soil, Lord, and we love it. And we thank you for bringing him to us, Lord, that we may hear the word, that we may live by the word, that we may be fruitful, and we multiply, Lord. Lord, we love you, Lord. Lord, we love all of you, Lord. Macedonia Church loves you, Lord. And we tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so generous, so kind, and so loving, so caring, and so sharing to us, Lord. Lord, we ask you that we be lights that shine, Lord. That we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In everything we do, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to continue to heal us, continue to deliver us, continue to guide us, continue to be a light to our path and a lamp to our feet, Lord, because, Lord, we need you. And, Lord, we know that we can do nothing without you, but we know we can do everything with you, because, Lord, you are our strength. You are our redeemer. You are our creator. Lord, we love you, Lord. Love you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Continue to bless us that we may give you all the praises, honor, and glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
He's mine and I am his. Chiefs, it doesn't matter what you did. He only sees me for who I am. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he is mine and I am his. And it doesn't matter.
Lord, light upon me your fresh anointing that I might preach the word with accuracy and power, conviction, and comfort. Yeah. And allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my, my heart to be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And all the people of God said, Amen. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. I would endeavor to invite your attention to the gospel of St. Matthew on this journey to Resurrection Sunday as we navigate our way uh, to the cross and then to that day when he would get up. Uh, if there's any Baptist preacher that has any Baptist in him, he would declare early Sunday morning he got up from the grave. Uh, Matthew chapter 27 and beginning at verse 62 for your hearing. Matthew 27 and verse 62. Matthew's gospel, the 27th chapter and the 62nd verse for your hearing. Now, the next day that followed, the day of the preparation, the chief priest and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command, therefore, that the sepulchre, sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so that the last heir shall be worse than the first. And Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way. Make it as sure as ye can. So they went, made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the edification of our souls. Uh, for a, a thought this morning, uh, just three words. Uh, uh, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. To be, continued. to be continued. And once again, to be continued. Amen. It is my contention of this morning to, to pick verses of scriptures as we would lead and, and, and follow our way to Resurrection Sunday that are, are off the beaten trail of those that are popular and, and common, yet every uh, part of the story of the gospel is significant. And by all means, we understand, according to 2 Timothy 3.16, that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction that the man of God uh, might be thoroughly furnished, perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Perfect means to be complete, to be mature, thoroughly furnished to all good works. Now doctrine teaches us what is right. Reproof teaches us what is not right. Correction teaches us how to get right, and instruction teaches us how to stay right. Y'all right. didn't hear that. Doctrine teaches us what is right. Reproof teaches us what is not right. Correction teaches us how to get right, and instruction teaches us how to stay right. Songwriter said, get right with God and do it now. Get right with him, he will show you how. Right. Down at the cross where he shed 
his blood, get right with God, get right, get right with God. So it would behoove me to look at these settings that, that happened before Sunday morning. So allow me to rewind and, and give you a chance to see what has transpired now. Friday is past. And Jesus Christ, our Savior, is dead. The corner of the day pierced him in the side, and both blood and water came, which is a, a medical phenomenon that when blood begins to coagulate, you'll see both the water and the blood together, and he was pronounced dead. Things are seemingly trying to get back to what uh, Jerusalem knew as a normalcy. Uh, this, this man named Jesus started a, 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 a uprise because of his magnificent work, his, his, his phenomenal miracles, the things that he did. But he's dead now and, and the Pharisees are, are back to their their old customs and things, but one thing happened, one thing happened that caused uh, uh, this thing to not be over yet. It wasn't over in the minds of the Pharisees. I believe that in the disciples' mind, they felt like it was over it was because the same persons that now crucified the Lord because they hung out with Jesus they, they are concerned for their lives. So the disciples, the apostles are hiding. So the Pharisees go to, to Pilate. And they want to make sure that this rumor is, 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 does not become flawed, if you will. That this Jesus don't go missing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they go... And they go to him, but prior to them going to Pilate, it was uh, uh, Nicodemus. Y'all remember Nicodemus? He was a secret worshiper of Jesus Christ. Y'all know Nicodemus. He's the one that came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do the miracles that thou doest unless God be with him. And that was enough for Jesus to hear. He said, Verily, verily, I say to you, Nicodemus, ye must be born again. Yeah, that Nicodemus and, and a rich man, Joseph of Arimathea, uh, came and he had a tomb, and, and, uh, and it was the tomb of Joseph. Of everything that they laid Jesus in, but uh, it was only a borrowed tomb because Jesus wouldn't need it all. I wish I had a witness. He, he just borrowed it because he would need it long. And, 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 and now the Pharisees are recanting what Jesus said. And he said, now, now listen to how the enemy deals. And I, I want to stop right here. The enemy will always feel like they got one up on you when they feel like they got the best of you. So they have no regard for Jesus. They go to Pilate and say, now you know this deceiver said that if you tear down this temple, in three days I'll raise it up again. So we want to make sure that the disciples don't steal his body so that can be true. And, 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 and so we want, we want, we want, we want to uh, secure the sepulchre. We want to secure it. And, 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 and he, they got permission from Pilate. I want to tell the story. I'm going to preach it in a minute. Got permission from Pilate and they, and they went over and made sure not only that there was a, a Pilate's seal or the governor's seal put on it. But also that there was watch. They had Roman soldiers watching over the tomb to somehow thwart any effort for the disciples to steal the body. Yes. That's something. And they really thought they had it together. They didn't know who they were dealing with. 
See, see, God is all powerful and all mighty. And Jesus had spoken it that no man taketh my life, but I lay it down. It may look like they killed the Lord Jesus Christ. No, but he laid his life down. Greater love, no greater love than this, that a man laid down his life for a friend. And he did so. But look at what's happening. And Pilate said, uh, okay, you can have it the way you want. You have a watch. So they went to secure it. Ain't that something when you think about Jesus and how no man can, can hold him down? He said he'll rise again. Ain't no power on earth can hold him down. Said he'll rise again. Death can't keep him in the ground. I, I thought I would scrape this simply because God was at work even when uh, uh, the news went out that CNN and all the media had Jesus died. And that would have been the end of the story. That would have been the end. It would have been a period. But I want to declare it's to be continued. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad it's continued. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, Keith, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't based on to be continued. I, I'd be doing something else. You might as well eat, drink, and be mad if he didn't get up from the grave. Paul wrote over in 1 Corinthians, if in this life only we have hope in Christ Jesus and he dies and is dead and gone, then we are of all men most miserable. But I got news for you. I got news for you. He got up. He got He got up. But look at what they went through to somehow maintain it. He said, if we don't, if the if the disciples steal the body, then the problem we had with Jesus will be worse. I want to tell you, they didn't need a watch. They didn't. They, it didn't matter how sealed the tomb was. Tell it, Pastor. Tell it. That early Sunday morning, Hallelujah. he got up with all power in his hand. They didn't understand that the story wasn't over. They didn't understand that it was about to be continued. They thought when he gave up the ghost, that was it. Men sat on the ground. Even that centurion last week had declared, uh, verily I say unto you, this was uh, the Son of Man. This was Jesus the Christ. They thought it was over because he said it was. They thought it was over because that was the end. Y'all made a mistake. Y'all missed the Savior. You missed, you missed the, the Messiah. You missed him. And even the centurion in his very, very uh, 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 elementary faith, surely this was didn't recognize, he should have said, surely this is uh, the Son of Man. And, and, and they went in and they, they had the guards there. And the guards there watching at night. Can't you see them? Well, I better send a bunch of soldiers. The seal of the, of the, uh, of the governor, Pilate, put his seal on it that it would be a decree that nobody go in and bad not nobody come out. Something happened, something happened, y'all. Something happened that made you come back to church after you believed Jesus Christ. Something happened. If he died, there's no reason for us to carry on like this. Do whatever you want. But the Savior is dead. I dare to differ. He is alive. He is alive. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know who holds the future. Life is worth the living because he lives. Can't you see how your enemies act? When the enemies think they got one up on you, they get busy. They don't slow down. The devil is busy looking for another way to deceive man. They go to Pilate and say, this old deceiver, you remember him? They talked about how to get back up. We need to make sure. That the disciples don't come and steal him away. Yeah. Yeah. I want to let y'all know the confines of to be continued. 
God didn't need the disciples in it. And all the soldiers of the Roman army couldn't keep him from getting up. And not a seal could get him from getting up. There was a stone, a seal, and soldiers to pin him down. Somehow, God said, it's time to get up and early sometime between 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday after he was finally crucified. Sometime after, after late, as the sun went down Saturday and early Sunday morning, could have been 12, could have been 4 in the morning, could have been 2 in the morning, could have been 3 in the morning. Nothing in the evening it was in the morning. So starting at 12 midnight, God got his son up from the dead. Yeah. And pinned on that is the very genesis and the very elementary mindset for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but all shall have. Everlasting life. Well, y'all, I'm so, I'm so glad that the story was to be continued. And we are recipients of that continuation. He continues to love me and you. He continues to say from the gutter books to the other books. He continues to shower his grace, his unmerited favor on a sin sick world. He continues to extend his mercy. God not giving us what we rightly deserve. He continues to give us long suffering, for he suffers long. Second Peter 3 9 says, God is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willing that any would perish, but all would come to repentance. And in the meantime, we we came to know him, some as young children, others as adults. And the, the continuation kept going because yeah. he got up. Thank you. We ain't got nothing if he didn't get up. Thank but because he got up, we got joy, joy like a river. And joy became a Because we got up, we know how now to love our neighbor. Because he got up, he put a song in our heart. And every time I turn around, I keep thinking of all the songs I learned yeah. from the gospel of Jesus Christ yeah. in the church when I was just a young fledgling. And there's one I introduced last Sunday that still brings in the spirit of my soul that song that song that would always continue to make me testify of his goodness and testify of his compassion and testify of his love the song that would give me a continue to keep on praising his name to keep on shouting hallelujah and then the song by the said I, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember it last week. It was the same song. The song went, uh, Keep. Uh, that's it. Keep. Keep singing. Glow. Read to his name. Precious name. Singing. Glory to his name, precious name, there to my heart was the blood applied, singing glory to his name, keep singing glory. Read to his name, precious name, singing glory to his name, precious name. Woe there to my heart was the blood of Christ, singing glory. That's the song that would give believers a continuum yeah. of praise.
raising me. I'm going to continue to love him. Yeah. I'm going to continue to rejoice. Hallelujah. I'm going to continue to witness. Yeah. I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to continue to sing my song. I'm going to continue to share this great gospel. I'm going to continue because it's not the end. It's to be continued. And you know the best part about the continuation is we don't have to wait till the battle is over to shout. We know in the end, come on, we have won. I got a witness. I'll tell everybody and stand on top of my mind. Hallelujah. Tell the world to be continued and to continue when he got up from the grave with all power in his hand towards the church of hope. I need to be continued. Do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? Sin, sin, you can't get away. I know a stranger. I know a Jesus. Just a little talk with Jesus can make everything. Hear me. And you're tired of that same old dizzy hang up. Tired of messing up. Tired of feeling worthless and helpless. Oh, I recommend Jesus. I recommend him. He'll work it out in your life. Death took the holy down. God got him up with the whole power in his hand. I want to talk about it. I want to tell you about it. The sound. So man, the woman said, come see the man. Come see him. He told me everything about him. Come see the man. You got a daughter. You got a son. You got a cousin. You got a friend. That shackled in this whole crazy, corrupt world. Oh, I know somebody with the keys to the shackle. Break to the up, but loose. Sit on the wind. Here today. Look, boy, 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 Boy came back seeing the critics, Pharisees, Pharisees came saying, Who would die? He said his name. They told him, Look, give honor to God because we know this man Jesus is a sinner. And little boy said, Sinner or not, I don't know. Sinner or not, I know that. One thing I know. I was blind. But now I see. Say what you will about. He's a savior. I recommend him. I recommend Jesus. This is God bless you, give God a hand, give God a hand, amen. Give God a hand. Jews old priest said, you know that, that deceiver said, if you tear the temple down, you can raise it up again in 33 days, so we better make sure it ain't no fools. They couldn't Hold it down. Couldn't hold it down. But a mighty job. Anyone, anybody else who spoke down on this? Be in. But not 
with my Savior was to be continued. Amen. Amen. So good to be again in the house of the Lord. Next Saturday is the first day of spring. First day of spring. Uh, Lord willing, the sun will shine. That's the S you in. I don't have to worry about the S on me. It shines. It shines every day in our hearts. Amen. Again, we want to always remind you to tune in at www.mbcacron.org is our, our channel. We will continue the live stream once we come back because this, this ministry has allowed us to, to reach others that don't even attend our church, others that are uh, a part of our ministry now on Sunday through either Zoom or either through Facebook. And that is uh, a wonderful blessing when we look at the outreach of, of, of the gospel and the outcome of souls that are going to be saved. Also, I want to remind you, and uh, uh, some of us have had trouble finding our mailbox, and I'm going to make sure we get a sign that shows you a little better where it is. It, it faces the women's uh, street at the front of the double doors, and you can't find it. But if you face the door, it's about eight feet, and it won't stand out because it's just a, a door you lift it up. It's a mailbox slot. If you're looking for a box, it's not there. It's just a slot you push your gift through. But we will make a better sign for you for those that like to find it there. Again, you can mail your tithe in. We want to thank God for those of you that have already made contributions to our COVID stimulus to the church. We've been raising money. Our goal is to raise $6,000 by the 21st of March, and we're well on our way. We want to thank God for you. Uh, all who have contributed, asking everyone that can, uh, will uh, participate. Uh, again, we are, we are closed now. We don't have in-person uh, ministry, and that offering is a, a challenge. We're only working about a third of our contributions, but the Lord is slowly, in his own time, and in his own way, opening the doors so we can come back in. Amen. And I'm thankful for that. You can also give through our Cash App, which gives you an opportunity to use your VAT, Visa, or MasterCard to give to our ministry. Amen. Don't forget, this Saturday at 11 o'clock, uh, we will be in the parking lot to share our, our um, pop-up pantry um, and I'll, I'll partner with the Acton Bible Church and we'll give out wonderful baskets, wonderful baskets for those that are in need. It's a drive uh, through, not necessarily a drive by. I don't want to talk about drive by, you drive through. And you can uh, get a basket uh, and hear a word. Hear a word, maybe have some singing. We're just going to make it a wonderful experience in, in, in our parking lot as well. I want to thank God for all of you. Uh, uh, keep uh, in your prayers the Cunningham family, Brother Gavin Cunningham, had to say goodbye on the side to his mother. She she is with the Lord now, and I and I pray that we all remember the Cunningham family. Got a chance to talk to Deborah. Um, through text messaging, and uh, she was uh, again um, soliciting my prayers, and we shall do that uh, again. Uh, let's pray for each other. Pray for each other, and don't get too happy about snatching your mask off. Um, everybody, listen. I, I believe everybody should get vaccinated, but don't take my word for it. Because when somebody asked me, well, what made you go? I said, well, 500,000 people dead wouldn't have nothing to do with it, would it? I mean, this thing is killing us. And uh, uh, I just trusted the Lord. I said, Lord, you're going to protect me either way. Either way. 
And uh, we got the shot. Um, since First Lady and I will go get our second one on the 24th of, uh, of this month, March, we will go back and get the second. I think it's Pfizer. Go get it. I didn't, nothing, I didn't feel any different. I just went on with the business of living. I didn't really feel any effects. And I'm thankful for that. I, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, in closing, I was. Um, I, I think everyone has uh, gone, oh, don't let me forget our Bible study. Uh, so many more can be a part of it. If you can be a part of Sunday morning, it's the same difference. It's the same thing to be a part of Wednesday evenings. We have our Bible study uh, begins at 6 o'clock. We go for about an hour. We're talking about the church and the racial divide. Uh, uh, we will deal with all those disparities this this coming Wednesday as it relates to our education, as it relates to health, as it relates to even credit and, and redlining and all of those things. And then use the word of God to give us hope that God has always helped the oppressed. Always. Over in Psalm 3, the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all our oppressed. So uh, you can tune in the same way, find that link that got you on the day, get you on links, I'm pretty sure. But if you uh, show up, uh, my wife, Deborah, is the host on Wednesday night. If you're in the waiting room, she will let you in. She will let you in. And one big hurry. Amen. I'm sure many of you like uh, running the people uh, that uh, may know you. You got a mask on. And, and uh, I run into so many people. Um, I guess now I've been pastor for 34 years. More people know of me than I know of them. But I ran into a person and they had their mask on and they were looking at me and going like this. I said, whoa. Drop your mask and they drop their mask, but I still didn't know. I mean, you know, I'm like, and I had to act like a day, hey, who are you? And, and again, that happens, that happens, and I'm still trying to find a way to go. If, 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 if the conversation were a little bit a second long, I would have said, I'm still not sure how we met, but I mean, they dropped their mask and were like, I still don't you know, so those are some of the things. It's tough uh, without masks. It's even um, tougher. So hopefully, in the near future, we'll be able to uh, to get with them all together. Amen. If all lines are clear, let's go home. Let's go home.